Hello students. As we begin unit two, there's been a few questions as to where the homework files are, etc. So I'm going to walk you through how to download those and unzip them to your computer. Now, unit two, in my opinion, is the most important unit in this class because when we're completed with unit two, you will have some basic skills in word processing, spreadsheets, and PowerPoint software. All three of these applications are going to become really helpful as you continue on in the educational process. And definitely the people that know these in the business world tend to get ahead. They find easier and faster ways to write documents, reports, create spreadsheets, charts and graphs, and do great presentations. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to go into the IC3 book materials here. I'm going to scroll down so you can see that I'm going to open the folder for the Unit 2 book materials. And what we're going to focus on is right here, student data files. These are the files that as the chapters call out for files, these are them. So I'm going to right click. I'm using, of course, Firefox. I'm going to do Save Link As. I'm going to save this to my desktop and hit Save. And I will replace that. As you can see, I've already done this one time, but I'm doing it again, showing you the whole process. So again, I've saved this to my desktop because it's a zip folder, and once I unzip it, I don't need to keep the files in two places. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's almost done. So I've got that zip folder now. I'm going to close this. I'm going to open up my documents here so that you can see this. And in my documents, I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to do right click, new folder. I'm going to call this CIS 120 Summer 2010. I'm going to click on that folder. And in there, I'm going to create a new folder. Right click, new folder called Unit to Student Data Files. So once I've done that, then I can go out and grab, let me minimize this so you can see this. I'm going to go ahead and grab that right there and double click. This is the zip folder that, cre that contains all the student data files. I'm going to choose ex extract all files. And it's going to say, well, where do you want to extract them to? Well, notice right now it's going to put them on the desktop. I'm certainly not going to want to extract all those there. So I'm going to do this. Go into eMaggots, and now remember, I am using Windows 7. This is very similar. Here's that CIS 120 summer that I created. Here's the Unit 2 student data file. So I'm going to say OK. My path is correct there, and I'm going to say Extract. So it's going to go ahead and open up or unzip all those files and create that folder structure in the folder called Unit 2 student data files. So that's done. It brings it up. So let's say chapter Unit 2, Chapter 1 calls for a student data file. I can click on it. I think it happens to call for U2CH01 parking the assignment. So I would just double click on that. Let me minimize this so you can see it all. Here we go. And there's the file. So as I start the homework, the first thing I want to do is read how the instructor, i.e. me, wants it saved, which is first initial, last name. So read the instructions. So I always like to start out with that. You know, come in here, save as, Word document. Of course, the key here is notice it's trying to save it in with the student data files. So a lot of you might say, oh, you know, I saved it, but I can't find it. Well, you have to look at the path right up here as to where it's saving. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go into Documents. I'm going to go into my 120, and I'm actually going to create a new folder. Right click, New Folder, and I'm going to call this Unit 2 Homework. So see, now I'll double click that, and now as I save this, first initial, last name, I think it's parking, don't hold me to that. Notice I'm saving it in the Unit 2 homework folder, so I say save. The other nice thing about that, this is by saving it right off the bat, I have a new file, and I haven't overwritten the old file. 
So as you can see, we started out with this file here, which still exists. So if I happen to get halfway through the homework, boy, mine is not looking like the example. I can come back here, call this one up, do a file save as, and be good to go. So folks, the majority of your homework starts out with an already completed file. You certainly do not have to do the hours and hours of typing. This is not a typing class. You should have experience in typing, of course, but this certainly makes the homework easier. Remember, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me or Skype me, and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks. Have a great one, and we'll talk to you soon.